My two cents, motherfucker. What up, y'all? DC Fago guy. The Falling Apart video has been out now for a couple of days, and I had a homie hit me up on Facebook, you know, because I shared it. I made a status about how awesome the fucking video was and how it was basically everything that I had pictured in my head. Um, I actually was going to do a reaction video or a first impression video. Megs was going to sit in with me, my fiance, and we were actually going to shoot a video of our first time watching it. Um, but on Wednesdays, I got to be to work at 1.30 Eastern Time. And it was fucking pushing 1 o'clock, and I usually leave around 1 o'clock for work. So I didn't end up watching it. The video got scrapped because I usually have to be back to work Wednesday, or Thursday morning at 7. So Wednesday night when I got home a little close to 10 o'clock, I watched it long enough to watch it and went to bed. And I we rewatched it again Thursday afternoon and Thursday morning. Shit. So I just kind of scrapped the idea of doing a reaction video. But since my homie hit me up on uh, Facebook... He posted a comment on the post that I made sharing the video saying that I loved it. And uh, this is the picture. This is a snapshot he sent me right here. And he asked what my thoughts were on that being behind Violent J, as you can see, whether or not that was the next Joker's card or not. And quite simply, I went ahead and I told him straight up. And I'm going to go ahead and make a video about this just because I have a feeling this may become... Um, a topic I really don't know I'm kind of starting it but I'm gonna go ahead and make I'm making this a, a my two cents video but my response to him was no I honestly do not think it is the next Joker's card they did something really fresh with this video CPN has mentioned it and I took notice to it right away too but in the chorus um, you know originally falling apart Violent J said falling apart was inspired by one day he just felt like shit you know and he knew he was getting old and the whole song just came from him getting basically feeling old is where the song originally came from now in the chorus of this music video they threw in you know some drug use references and there is alcohol references so I think it was their way of throwing in a way of saying that drug abuse and alcoholism is a way to feel like you're falling apart so that it was thrown in there and the fact that falling apart is off the marvelous missing link it's off of lost and that is Throughout that album and even parts of Found, they mention the fact that there are demons in your life and there is a devil that, you know, is riding on your, you know, right in the very first title track of Lost, uh, the devil's riding on your back, riding piggyback, claws over your eye. I don't remember the exact fucking quote, but, you know, basically Shaggy Two Dope is saying that the devil's riding on your back, claws over your eyes. And I think this is just their way of putting that into a different perspective. Because that right there, the way he's got his hands out, he's reaching out to put his fucking claws over. And I just think that's another way for them to throw that reference in there. That Because they've got the drug, the, the drug references are there in the chorus. I think this is their way to just throw in another one of maybe a demon's making Jay feel like he's falling apart. Who knows? Maybe that's what caused him to fall apart was a demon. Who, who knows? It was a great reference. And I love that this was put in there. I did catch that in the video too. But, you know, actually seeing a snapshot like this, I'm actually glad um, my, my homie's name is Gage. He, I'm, I'm glad you actually showed me this snapshot because that's cool. I love being able to see this in more detail because in the music video, it's kind of real quick. So I'm loving seeing this because that, literally that looks like what he's doing is he's reaching his claws around to ride piggyback on Violent J. And that's why Violent J is falling apart. That's all I think it is. I do not at all think that this is supposed to be the next Joker's card, but that was definitely some creative thought right there. So, just wanted to make a video about this, because like I said, I don't know if this is going to become a topic. Fuck, who knows, maybe I'm making this a topic. I, I really don't know, but the fact is, Gage hit me up with this, and uh, I decided to make a video to kind of explain myself further. I do not think it's the next Joker's card. It is a devil, it's a demon, and uh, that's purely strictly it. Um, before I hop off here, one thing I do want to say real quick, because I know I've had people hit me up. I do not, as of right now, some people have gotten through, but if you find me on Facebook and you send me a friend request or you ask if you can be my friend on here, like if you hit me up wanting to become my friend on Facebook, I'm actually not really accepting friend requests right now because I'm doing YouTube videos. However, if you want to be able to interact with me and even other Carnival Spirit members, you can actually head over to Facebook and search for a group called Ninjas in Action or you can search on um, Facebook for Carnival Spirits 
one or the other. I think it's like uh, www.facebook.com slash groups slash Carnival Spirits. But there is an actual group that was made to support the Carnival Spirits website that actually launched a year ago, roughly a year ago. I think it's been a little over a year now since the website launched. Uh, the group was made to help support the website and ended up getting changed to Ninjas in Action. And it's just kind of a community group for subscribers and the Carnival Spirit members to mingle. So if you want to hit, if you actually want to like, shoot the shit with me a little bit that is where you can find me at because right now I'm not I'm not really accepting friend requests I'm kind of keeping my shit on a block right now so the people that have gotten through are kind of lucky because as of right now as my channel's growing more and more I'm accepting less and less Facebook friends so that is all I've got for you guys thanks for watching stick around I'm probably gonna be doing some uh, updates to my collection because people have been there's I don't know if these are hints or whatever for me or signs for me to do this but I think I'm going to be doing an updated collection video soon who knows so stick around for that once again thank you guys for watching